make you a required practical is on food tests. What you will need for this practical are a number of food items. I have some biscuits here, some sugar, some apple and pear juice, and some olive oil. You'll also need some solutions to test the food with, and I have Benedict solution, iodine solution, Biret reagent, Sudan 3 solution, ethanol. You also need some distilled water, pestle and mortar, a couple of beakers, some stirring rods some spatulas some pipettes conical flask funnel filter paper some test tube racks and test tubes and a big beaker for any solid Food, such a biscuit, what you will need to do, you will need to grind it in a pestle and mortar. Put it in a beaker. Add some distilled water. Give it a good mix with a stirring rod. And then we're going to filter that through the filter paper and funnel into the conical flask. So the filter paper needs to be folded twice like this, with one side of the paper on one end and the other three on the other side. Put that into the funnel and then filter the biscuit solution through. It's going to give it a few minutes to filter. And with sugar, all we need to do with sugar is dissolve it in some water. And use warm water because it'll be easier to dissolve. So in another beaker, put some water in. Add a couple of spatulas of sugar. Give it a stir. Put that on the side. Now for the juice, you don't really need to do anything with that or the olive oil because they're already liquids. What I've done with my test tube racks and test tube is laid down. So I have a test tube rack of iodine solution, the biret solution, the Sudan 3 solution and the ethanol solution. I've put the Benedict solution one in a beaker because we'll have to use hot water as a water bath. I've also labelled my test tubes with initials of the food. So for example, B for biscuit, S for sugar, A for apple juice, and O for olive oil. And I've done that for all of them. What to do now is put in the solutions of food into each of the test tubes. So here I have my biscuit solution, and I'll put a few drops in each of my test tubes labeled B. Here I have my sugar solution 
and I put them in the test tube labelled S. I have apple juice here and I put them into each test tube labelled A. Finally, I have my olive oil, which I'll put into my test tube labelled O. As I'll be using the solutions, I'll put my goggles on. I'll start off with the Benedict solution and I'm going to put a few drops of Benedict solution into each of my test tubes. And because this one requires a hot water bath, I would pour some hot water into my beaker. a bit of a swirl and leave them on the side to react and I'll work on my iodine solution so a few drops of iodine solution in each one each of my test tubes okay give it a swirl And then I'll go into my Birex solution. Again, a few drops in each one. Give it a swirl. Okay, I'll go into my Sudan 3 solution. A few drops in each one. Give it a swirl. And finally, my ethanol. This one. To test for reducing sugars, you use the Benedict solution. That should give a green, yellow or brick red colour as a positive result. To test for starch, we use the iodine solution and a positive result should give black or blue black. For the test for proteins, we use the Viret reagent, which should give a purple or pink colour as a positive result. For the test of fats or lipids, we use the Sudan 3 solution and that should give a layer of stained red on top of the food. An alternative to test for fats or lipids was the ethanol test and that should give a cloudy, milky colour. For the Benedict solution, you can see that the colour has changed and you can see that the biscuit and the apple juice have reducing sugars in it. For the iodine solution, you can see that they have changed colour and the biscuit and the olive oil have starch in it. For the Biret solution, the positive result should be purple or pink. Can't really see much difference in those. 
the Sudan Tree Solution, you can see a layer of brick red on the olive oil. For the ethanol test, there is a little bit of difference in the colour, but not much.